Okay, in this video, let's look at a few more examples of applying our uh, rules for uh, simplifying uh, powers uh, where the exponents uh, are uh, rational numbers or fractions. Um, so let's start here with example k, where we want to simplify 16 to the minus 3 halves power. So uh, there's two things we have to worry about uh, in simplifying this uh, power, this expression. First, we have a fractional exponent, of course. Uh, and then furthermore, that, uh, uh, that fractional exponent is a negative number. So first, let's deal with that, uh, that uh, negative uh, first. Um, and the way we can uh, um, handle that is, um, again, by uh, inverting. So we saw that in one of the previous videos. If you have a negative exponent, uh, you can make that exponent positive simply by taking the reciprocal of the base. So 16 to the minus 3 halves power is the same as 1 over 16 uh, to the positive 3 halves power. And now we can just concentrate on the denominator here and simplify 16 to the 3 halves power. And we saw how to do that uh, in the last video. So we know that 16 to the 3 halves power, that's just another way of expressing uh, a radical. Uh, that's the same as the square root of 16 uh, cubed. Uh, but again, because 3 halves, that uh, fraction was in lowest terms. 3 halves is a fully reduced fraction. We can write uh, this also as uh, the square root of 16, uh, 1 over the square root of 16, and then that quantity, or that square root cubed. And of course, it's easy to calculate the square root of 16. Uh, that's just going to be 4. So this is the same as 1 over 4 cubed, and 4 cubed is 60. So 16 to the minus 3 halves power, that simplifies to uh, 1 over 64 or 1 64th. Um, for 27 uh, to the minus 2 thirds power, to simplify this power, um, we're going to handle it in a very similar way. First, we're going to deal with that negative sign on the exponent. So I can make that negative sign positive by simply taking the reciprocal of the base. So 27 to the minus 2 thirds power is the same as 1 over uh, 27 to the 2 thirds power. And now we can try to simplify uh, 27 to the 2 thirds power in the denominator. And so we know from um, one of our rules for exponents, uh, uh, or for simplifying um, uh, fractional exponents, uh, this is the same as uh, 1 over the cube root of 27 squared, which we can rewrite as 1 over um, the cube root of 27, that quantity squared. And it's easy to simplify a cube root of 27. Uh, cube root of 27 is 3, because 3 cubed is 27. And so we have 1 over 3 squared here, which is uh, 1 ninth. So 27 to the minus 2 thirds power, that's another way of writing uh, 1 ninth. Now in these last two examples, I want to indicate that um, these rules for uh, simplifying um, fractional exponents, or powers with fractional exponents, um, they go in both directions, right? So you can also apply these rules uh, for rewriting expressions that involve radicals. So the instructions in these two examples is to rewrite each one of these expressions uh, using an exponent rather than using a radical. So how could we rewrite the square root of 10 uh, using an exponent instead of using the radical notation. And we just have to remind ourselves, ah, square root of 10, that's the same as 10 to the 1 half power. So see there, we've taken that radical expression and we've converted it to a uh, exponential expression. Uh, in this last example, we want to do the same thing. We want to rewrite this radical expression using an exponent. So here we have the fourth root of 10 cubed. So we can rewrite that as uh, 10 to the 3 fourths uh, power. Because if we were going to simplify 10 to the 3 fourths power, remember that uh, denominator of that fraction would indicate the index of a radical. And then the numerator of the fraction would stay as an exponent. So 10 to the 3 fourths power is the same as fourth root of 10 cubed. So we can rewrite the fourth root of 10 cubed as 10 uh, to the 3 fourths power.